Hey you guys, um, <clears throat> Doctor Who Day today, pulled the name out of the hat and got Colin Baker. Uh, yeah, alright, stop moaning at the back, he had to come at some time, which is unfair because I, uh, I don't know, he was one of the ones I grew up watching a lot of. And he had some reasonable good stories. Time the Rani, Two Doctors, okay. Um, Attack of the Cybermen. And that's the sad thing. I'm now saying these and I'm going, oh, because they're not great. But they're all he did. He didn't do that much. He was 84 to 86, 18 month hiatus in the middle of it. Oh, Trial of the Time Lord, which I have the box set of and I've never watched. I keep looking at it and thinking can I bring myself to do it and usually bottle it and put it back on the shelf and watch something better. Um, I didn't get off to a good start. Most Doctors, they end their run and then the next Doctor, you know, they regenerate at the end of the season and the next one takes over the season after that. But this time they tried something different and clever and they put one story with Colin Baker in at the end of the season. So you had the Caves of Androzani which is one of the greatest ones it's one of the top ones ever made to be followed by the twin dilemmas which is probably the worst ever doctor who ever made no it's the worst tv program it's the worst of anything ever made i have it over there it's it's a great coaster i have i have a cup of tea waiting for me on it right now but like i say he did some good stuff attack of the seven men is pretty good but he was a darker doctor he was he was a petulant, arrogant, he tried to strangle Perry in like the first episode. He was a lot more, hmm. And after Peter Davidson, who'd been all sweetness and light and probably one of the softer doctors that we'd had, he was followed by this and it was probably very jarring. It was very jarring. Um, I kind of liked it as a kid. I thought it was nice, but then it was also far more violent. He pushes people into acid in episodes. He's, I don't know, aggressive, which kind of worked. But then they dressed him in that. Colin Baker wanted to wear black, black velvet. And I don't know if it would worked with the curly hair, but that's what he got. I don't know. Can anybody tell me? I've tried Googling it. Was... Was this chosen by somebody off of Blue Peter or something? Yeah? I just have... I have a memory of it being on Blue Peter, but I don't know if it was just that they revealed it on Blue Peter or whether somebody entered a competition and this won to design the Doctor's new outfit. I don't remember. Please, somebody, let me know. It could just be a brain fart that's in there that doesn't really mean anything. But yeah, he was a darker Doctor, but he still had compassion. Um, Revelation of the Daleks. He's, he sort of comforts a dying mutant. Um, you know, he's, he, he, he shows emotion. Uh, he's the only Doctor to ever fix the chameleon circuit. His arrogance... Yeah, his arrogance was backed up by his intelligence. I mean, this is a smart guy. And he, pff, if you're that smart, you're going to be arrogant. You're allowed. Um, he also... Introduced the Rani in Time of the Rani, which was a great villain. Why she hasn't been back yet, I don't know. Because, you know, female Time Lords are very in at the moment. Though now she'll probably be a man. Because that's different. Um, he, was, he had Perry as a companion, which most of the dads were really happy about. Can't think why. <sighs> Can't think why. Um... Yeah, it's kind of weird. It, for years, I thought that she was American. That the actress, I can't remember her name now, Nicola Bryant. I thought she was English. And she's not. I thought she was American. She's not. She's English. Very English. Um, yeah. He had so much, I don't know. When you look at all the others, even, even, I, he is the, the bottom of the list. But the thing that saves him is, I listen to a lot of the Big Finish Doctor Who audios and if you are a fan of those you will know that he is the best Doctor on there. Um, when I listen to him I have a friend who has bought every like one of them for how long and yeah alright I am a little naughty he lends me them I, 
I cannot afford to be buying them, but I borrow his. And whenever he comes and he's lent me him so far, well, he lent me him randomly. And then I said to him, look, just give me, lend me him again, but lend me him in order. And I've been listening to him in order. And every time I come across a Colin Baker one, I go, oh, brilliant, it's Colin Baker. Yeah, he's done some great episodes in there. I met the guy once. He's so nice. He is a little bit egotistical, but why not? He's he's Colin Baker. He played Doctor Who. Um, you know, he made Michael Grade look stupid. And that's the problem with a lot of TV. And we've had the same problem now. There is somebody in charge of the series. There is somebody in charge of making these things. And they can screw it up. We've had... I'm not going to say his name because it irritates me. Doing the last few seasons. And he's made a mess of it. Michael Grade. Messed about with it. 18 month hiatus. Let's make it this. Let's make it that. Because he didn't like the programme. And it was also battling against things like... Um, Coronation Street, I think. But yeah, maybe go out there, have a watch of them yourself. I've, I'm, I'm going to try and watch a couple of his today. I, I tried to watch Time Lash, and I couldn't do it. I did like when I watched them, and I know I've watched them recently. Two Doctors is not too bad, though the Sontarans in it are completely different. They've gone from being little potato head guys to being really tall potato head guys. Um, Time of the Round is quite good. Um, it's different. I also feel sorry for him because he, he got replaced in such a bad way because he, he didn't do it. They just fired him. So when it came to his regeneration, it was uh, Sylvester McCoy in a blonde wig. Hmm. Um, I also did see him in the stage one they did, the Doctor Who musical thing that they did. Um, it was supposed to be John Pertwee and unfortunately he was ill. And so they replaced Colin Baker was his standing. They were sort of sharing the part. So even though I did supposedly go to see John Pertwee do it, I got to see Colin Baker do it. And I really enjoyed it. So he is, because of the Big Finish ones, one of my favourite Doctors. So if you'd like me to talk about Big Finish ones, because um, I'm thinking of doing it, let me know at the bottom. You know, thumbs up. Give me a comment. Say yes. Talk about the Big Finish ones. Because my mate's got just about all of them. So I can borrow... Any of them off him, he's told me I can, because he's trying to help me with the channel. So, if you've enjoyed this chat, if you've got this far through it without falling asleep, or walking away, or or eating pickled onions, yes, all right. Um, leave me some subscriptions, some likes, some comments. It would be fantastic. Have a great day, a great night, and I will see you all soon.